guys, so today I'm going to be filming Furry Favorites, and this is actually my first favorites ever. So I'm hoping I can, like, persevere and do a favorite each month, but we'll see how that goes. I, I thought I'll show you guys some of the stuff that's gotten me through the month of January, and yeah, let's get right into it. So I've actually had this concealer for a while now, but I never used it until this month. Everyone knows about this. The Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser, and it's basically for the under eye circles, and I had gotten it for that, but it turned out that it wasn't like um, a light enough shade for my under eyes. But I found that this baby actually matches my skin perfectly, so I'm able to use this to like cover up any like pimples or like discoloration on my skin. So that's nice, and I've been really liking this. My next favorite of the month is just eyebrows in general. I love how brows look. I love how they look when they're done, especially. I feel like when you have nice done brows, it just makes you look 20 times more presentable. So one of my favorite things to do, even though wearing any makeup, is to at least fill my brows. And I love this baby. And this is only like 3 or $4. It's the um, e.l.f. eyebrow kit. And it basically comes with a little tiny brush. Um, and then an eyebrow gel and an eyebrow eyeshadow. And I definitely thought this eyeshadow was a bit too light for me in the beginning. But I realized it's actually a perfect color because you don't want your eyeshadow that you're filling in your brows with to be too dark. It's better when it's lighter because it looks a lot more natural and less harsh. I've actually gotten so many compliments, especially at school. Um, my next favorite is actually an accessory and it's my Michael Kors watch. I've been wearing this baby like crazy. I got it for Christmas. The watch and my two rings are kind of like my default jewelry. I just always wear it unless I actually plan on wearing some other jewelry. Normally, I'm always wearing it. And I think it just makes every outfit look a lot more chic and just put together and nice. And I love it so much. So yeah, I'm so glad I got this for Christmas. So I'm always reading different books. And I think one of my favorite recommendations for this month is um, a, it's a romance book. It's called Anna and the French Kiss. And it's honestly the perfect, like summertime romance book and obviously I didn't read it in summertime but you can read it anytime because it's so great. It's such a nice feel good book and it's like all about romance and it's just like this like it's definitely a lot more fictional based than like realistic because it happens for sure in France so you have all those like romantic places in France that the people go to and just perfect and Anna and her um St. Clair that's the guy that she like starts liking they're so perfect together. It's just a really good book and you guys should all read it if you are into romance type of books. It's so perfect and I love it so much. It's actually the first book to a collection of three. I don't know what it's actually called, but they're not an actual like trilogy. And they're kind of like three individual storylines, but they all kind of like connect in a way. So yeah, but it's such a good series and I loved it so much. I, this month, I found myself watching a lot more old movies on my computer than actually like going and watching new movies that are out in theater. And one movie that I watched recently that I thought was super duper funny, it's definitely a, like a really feel good romance movie and it was so funny. It was just actually, it's really funny. It's actually my first time watching it, but I feel like I heard the name so many times before, but I just never read it. Um, I just never watched it and it's called Bridget Jones Diary. It's this hilarious film about this girl and she's like in her 30s and she's just like single and she finds herself like really repulsing but by the end she actually has two guys that are after her and it's just this funny comedy and there's actually a second movie to it that I want to watch so I'm probably gonna like watch it sometime this week but yeah and I suggest you guys check it out. For music favorites I've actually been like instead of one particular song I've actually been loving the band Walk the Moon. I honestly don't know too much about the band itself but I know their music is great. So my favorite songs from them are Tightrope Anna's son, and I think We Are The Kids. Another song that I've been liking a lot this month, and I'm pretty sure it's kind of old by The New Politics, and it's called Harlem. It's just this, like, really fun, upbeat song with a kind of, like, rocker edge type of sound to it, and I just love it so much. But yeah, those are my favorites of the month. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll link down below some of my favorite songs, as well as movies and books, and then I'll also have my social media down below, so you guys can check that out. But yeah, bye!